Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Thingamajigger Thursday here at Tusa Acres where I go over a unique or uncommon tool once a week. In today's episode, I'm going to show you what these big dudes are used for. We'll take a quick look at uh, next week's mystery tool, show you one of my favorite tools, and then uh, real quick, I want to revisit the uh, offset flex head ratchet. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so thanks to a tip from one of the viewers, Raw Bacon, appreciate it. Uh, these are called rounders or re-rounders. Uh, they're made by Reed. That's R-E-E-D. I'll put a little snapshot up here in the corner. Uh, I was pretty, pretty shocked at the sticker price of these buggers, uh, over 500 bucks. And they're used for working with, uh, in this case, two inch copper tubing, but uh, big rolls of copper tubing, they're really hard to handle. So you can use these to grab onto them, uh, grab onto the end of the copper tubing and get a little bit of leverage, but also, now this is just a coupler, so it's a little bit bigger diameter than regular two inch uh, tubing, which I don't have. But you would put this in there, if it was kinked, just slightly kinked or oblonged, oval, anything like that, you could put that in there, put that chunk in there and work it around and re-round a bit of that copper pipe. That way uh, you don't have to throw it out or cut it or if you're doing um, some rework on it where you gotta put a, put a coupler on it, uh, you could slip something on there after you re-rounded it. So really cool. Uh, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Probably put them up for sale locally, I guess, because it would cost an arm and a, you know, to ship those things. All right, moving on to next week's mystery tool. These little buggers right here, I had seen them a bunch, uh, found them in auction boxes, and when my pops passed, I found a whole bunch and uh, never really knew what they're for. I finally figured out what it is and I uh, actually got a little kit and I'll show that next week. But if you do know what these are for or you wanna take a, a guess at it, go ahead and throw something in the comments and we'll cover that next week. Before I move on to uh, one of my favorite tools, I figured I'd just share this one. Cute little bugger. It's only about five inches long or so. I don't know if it's homemade. Uh, found it in a, an auction box. A uh, really cute little adjustable wrench here. You know, it's just going to be a wall hanger for me, but uh, or maybe I'll throw it in one, uh, you know, mystery box, giveaway box. It is really neat, though. And just real quick before I move on, uh, off the advice of one of the, the viewers or recommendation of one of the viewers, uh, I went ahead and ordered this gear wrench flex head offset handle 3H drive uh, ratchet, 84 tooth. Really smooth. I'm going to do a quick review on this. Uh, I'll link the video in the description uh, box and uh, you can check that out if you want. I uh, got a snap on craftsman and now the gear wrench and uh, we'll see which one I like best. So moving on to one of my all time favorite tools. Uh, once you start using one of these, or at least for myself, I can't stand old punches anymore. I hardly ever, ever, ever use these. Uh, you know, and they're nice. I got nice ones here. These are sterrets and uh, for those that don't know, this is what a punch is for. You need to drill a hole. You go ahead, give it a little pop. It leaves a little dimple there and then that's a good starting spot for your drill bit. That way your drill bit doesn't weeble wobble all over the place or walk as they say. And the first automatic punch that I ever got, this is a uh, Harbor Freight model and it worked okay i mean you can see it didn't put nearly the the divot in there the the punch but uh this one got from my pops and holy smokes this is a general the brand is a general it puts a really nice little dimple in there so if you ever do metal work uh having a punch like this is fantastic and i got a couple other ones here uh, honestly i just use these two all the time these two just stay in the drawer but they're not bad either and a lot of these you can adjust the weight or the how strong the spring is compressed usually when you turn this in it compresses the spring inside a little bit more and gives it a little bit stronger of a punch or if you're doing you know say aluminum or copper and you want to back it off same thing with these you can just turn this knob back here and then it's a lot um, weaker i guess you could say of a of a dimple down there so once that's all the way backed off and you can hear the difference almost nothing and the dimple is barely even noticeable but if you crank this down we'll just run it out down all the way it's a much bigger dimple and a lot of times i just hit it twice right off the bat get a nice good sized dimple there but uh, yeah 
these things, if you've never used one I, and you do metal work, I highly recommend getting one of these bad boys. I don't even know where, the, where you would buy this brand, the General. I think it's a General. Let's see here. Yeah, General. Focusing is weird today on the camera. There it is. General 78 is what it says. Heavy, light. That's just the, you know, the strength of the uh, punch. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. Please don't forget to hit them like and subscribe buttons. Uh, I did mention the last couple videos that I would get some photos up of our autumn colors, the leaf colors around here. So I'll throw a couple of those up here in the, the closing few seconds of the video. I uh, hope everybody has a great and safe weekend, and we'll see you next week.